Hey, my name's Tom, aka Elephant. I'm here today at DBS, and we're going to be looking at some of the new features in Ableton Live 12. Let me just do a quick little flick through my list of features here to make sure I've covered everything. Ah, kind of a cool uh, new feature, which I'm sure will interest a lot of you who don't necessarily work in the session view. So we were kind of building a track here in the session view. A lot of people do work in the session view. I personally like to start in the session view and move over to the arrangement view. But a lot of people don't use the session view at all. Ultimately, we're all going to end up in the, oh, I've got to turn off this use tab key to move focus, going to end up in the arrangement view. Um, nice little new feature for the arrangement view, mixer and arrangement. So. You might have known before that when you were working the arrangement view, if you wanted to get like kind of a big fader, you could use, you've got track mixes over in the right chair, um, but if you wanted to get nice big faders, you'd have to swap over to the session view, bounce back. Now you've got the mixer directly in the arrangement view. You can see that all there. Also, what you'll notice is we have this thing called stacked detail views. So the detail view in live is this area down at the bottom where you sort of historically have either your notes, or your instruments. Now you can have both at the same time. You can have both your notes and your devices. And if you're in the uh, arrangement view, you can have your notes, your devices, and your mixer. You maybe need a bigger screen than this, but you can have them all visible at once. Um, the stack detail view in particular is really cool for, uh, let's, let's play, where's my bass line then? Oh, I've got my tuning system, I'm on 24. There we go, that's better. Is if you like are programming some notes in and you want to manipulate the sound and the notes at the same time, you can just have that there and you don't have to flick between the two. Or maybe I want to add some automation to this. Just right click, say show automation. Boom, it's right there. I can see that control and I can go in and just add some automation right there while I'm seeing the device at the same time. Um, there's been a couple kind of, uh, I mentioned there's lots of little interface things. The way that the uh, clip view is laid out is slightly different. The notes, envelopes, and MPE tabs, which used to be over on the side here, are now up here. Just makes a lot more sense uh, when you start using it. It just sort of feels right, um, which is quite handy. So there's lots of little interface changes uh, like that as well throughout uh, Live 12 is pretty cool.